Hello everybody, Thirtical here and we're cooking with Tinica. Hello Tinica. Hi, good morning, how are you? I'm good, I'm good. But I'm already thinking about dinner. It's getting close to the weekend. <laughs> you know how we've been talking about some um, nice meat dishes and uh, mm -hmm. somebody suggested something with beef. So beef? Uh, I'm thinking a stew. Uh -huh. a beef but also a bit of mm -hmm. pork because it adds to flavor you can do if you don't do pork you can just do it with beef but we'll do it the Flemish way which is pork and beef onion and mm -hmm. beer oh mm. pork uh, and beef stew with beer this is sounding better all the time <laughs> so um, normally in, if I were in Belgium I would use a nice dark trappist mm -hmm. but because we're not in Belgium and because trappist here is not that easy to find uh, we'll do it with Guinness, which is excellent as well. Lot oh, of that mm -hmm. sounds yummy. So, what ingredients do we need and how do we get started then? So, I've got 750 grams of pork uh, cubes, mm -hmm. uh, same amount of beef. Mm -hmm. uh, I cut up two onions. Mm -hmm. uh, I've got some uh, bay leaf and thyme and seasoning. Mm -hmm. uh, and also a slice of bread and oh. mustard. What, just mm. mustard spread on a slice of bread? That's right. How strange. Yeah. And of course, a nice can of Guinness. Guinness. Lovely. So let's get cracking. Whoa, something smells amazing. Tinica, mm. what's been happening in the kitchen? Well, um, this has been simmering away for one and a half hours. So it's getting there. It's, it's mm -hmm. good, as good as ready. Uh, but before we look at it, I'd like to share what we did before. Okay. Yeah. So remember we had pork and beef mm -hmm. and uh, we braised it in, um, on all sides so mm -hmm. that it was nice and uh, crispy, mm -hmm. uh, all, all pieces. And when that was done, we put that aside, fried the onion in the rest of the butter, you know, mm -hmm. and then added the meat and mm -hmm. added a can of Guinness. Yeah. Oh. Mm -hmm. A whole mm -hmm. can of Guinness. A whole can of Guinness. Yeah. As well so as. So that was braised pork and beef chunks. Mm -hmm. And then you took them out and fried the onion. Mm -hmm. And then you added the pork and beef chunks back in with the onion. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then unloaded an entire can of Guinness into the pot. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And then I added the uh, piece of bread with mustard. Oh, yeah. yes. Mm -hmm. and some bay leaf, thyme, pepper and salt. Mm -hmm. um, I added um, a little bit of water just oh, right. so that it had enough, not a lot, but just so that it had, had enough moisture. And then I covered it up in this sealed, heavy cast iron pot. Wow. Yeah. So now I'm curious as to see how, how the sauce is and how it's all binding together. How long has it been boiling away there for? About an hour and a half. Okay, yeah. so the meat should be nice and soft now, I guess. The meat, the meat will be soft. Mm -hmm. um, it's just a matter of seeing what the, how the juice is doing, whether it's, it needs a bit of thickening or not. Okay, so let's have a look. Have a look, yeah. Mm. Ready for the steam? Oh. Whoa, that smells amazing. Okay, so as you can see there's quite a bit of um, liquid here, but which is good because mm -hmm. we love this with uh, lots of sauce. But okay. it's, um, it's fairly, um, you know, loose, so I might just thicken it up a little bit. All right, so how do you thicken the sauce up then? Well, the quickest and easiest way is to use some corn flour. Uh -huh. And I've just... I've put one teaspoon of corn flour in here, and mm -hmm. I'm just going to add a bit of this sauce. To the corn flour? The corn Why flour. don't you just dump the corn flour in? Oh, no, it'll just be like jelly bits in there. We don't oh, want that. Right. And then we'll mix that up. Never dump corn flour in the sauce. Not just mm. like that, no, no, no. And actually, you could also make a proper rouille, which is uh, flour and butter. Mm -hmm. um, which is, you know, according to the chefs, the better way to do it. Right. Uh, it's how you start a mechamel sauce and stuff. But this is uh, just an easy way to thicken the sauce up. We will have to boil it through a little bit more. Okay. So that it can take hold of the rest of the pot. Mm -hmm. But, um, yeah, get in there. 
So we'll do that. We'll put that in and then it should be done. Okay. Yeah. For those of you who don't know that science, corn flour, when you mix it with a bit of water, uh, makes something called oobleck. Oobleck is neither a solid nor a liquid. It's something in between and it's like quicksand, really. It just thickens things up quite nice. Mm -hmm. So this is going back on the... On the cooker for mm -hmm. a little bit. Okay. And then we're done, ready for serving. Flemish beef and pork stew in Guinness. Can't wait. <laughs> so remember to like my Facebook page, 30 Gorganic Getter. Um, what can we have with this stew? Well, um, we made some chips and mayonnaise before, so that'll be a nice addition. Oh, yeah. Um, and I we have a. Uh, uh, playlist on YouTube. Uh, mm. It's called Third Tinkles Cooking Show. So mm. you can see all the previous recipes we've made there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and um, share this with your friends and maybe some groups you know of who uh, might enjoy these videos as well. Yep, food lovers, puppet lovers, whatever. Yeah. Thanks a lot for watching. And bon appetit. Bon appetit.